previously on Firewatch. There's a report. Okay, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it out here. The same beer those girls were drinking. They also left us a, a message. Well, I found the source of that fabric. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder. You're there? Where are they? I, I don't know. Gone. This whole place is torn apart. They called the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> Did you? Uh... How's it going dudes and dudettes? It's another dude. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Firewatch. And we are doing our thing right now. Okay, so. Hey, Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Interesting question. Because I'm horribly superficial. Uh, if Tom Cruise had a good looking twit. Do you know Rolly Fingers? Like Burt Reynolds? This isn't that hard. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in People he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not hmm. shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Oh god. Tuxedos is often about clothes. Clothes! I don't really think about it. Oh, come on! I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know? God, she's down oh, so do. bad! Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... <laughs> Thick beard, my nose has been broken. You'll enjoy my thin mustache and long scar. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I hmm. want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? What? Is, is that okay? <laughs> uh. Don't, don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. Hmm. You get what you need? Absolutely. Ah, yes, I see. Okay. What the fuck? What in the fuck? What use? What? That is not at all what I wanted to do. That, yes. Give me that. Get a couple more boards. Thanks, objective. That's not a board. <laughs> okay. Uh, there you are. So I'm working on my windows right now. I'm blocking them up. Uh, some dick decided to mess with it and break it. Those teenage girls, I exposed them for what they truly were. Bitches! I don't know where they could have gone, though. Probably dead, more than likely. Probably. I would imagine so. I think that's where this is going, right? I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Oh shit, I was paying attention. Of 
course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, nice. regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Oh, fuck. Wow. Wow. It is very red. Holy shit. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Uh. Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, it's so red. Oh, my God. Bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Ah, oh, shit. I knew it. Uh. uh. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I yeah, it's worth mentioning. I think it's worth mentioning something. Yep. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry. Thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Um. Oh my God, day fifteen. It's just jumping days now. Holy shit. It is just It is jumping days. Yeah, those girls are definitely dead. They're so totally dead. Like, I don't think that's much of a spoiler <laughs> at this point. They're missing. They've been missing for a week. Yeah, they're they're probably dead. <laughs> I think someone Henry, found Henry those girls. Or I think someone killed those girls. All right. That's not a fucking radio. Put that down. Radio. What do you yes. want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Oh god. Hey, it's late. I know it is. You sound tired. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. I am. Are you having a nice time? Um. Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, well, that's good. Am I dreaming? Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. She doesn't like her. Day 33. Fuck. I'm gonna have a full beard. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a full ass beard by the time I get out of here. Oh man. Day 33. It's been 33 days since I last saw my wife. I don't even know who I am anymore. I still got my wedding finger on, right? I still got my wedding ring on, right? Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Uh -huh. Lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. Do I have my wedding ring on? I don't think I do. Of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Hmm. Well, that sucks. Uh. So ah, wait. like, 
two weeks ago you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just I was, was dreaming. So sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. Is there anything else you want to tell me about her? Um Yeah, actually. Look, I wasn't honest with you about her. Well, why not? Because I messed up. She got really early Alzheimer's and I lost her. She's still alive. She's being taken care of back in Australia because that's where she's from. She's she's there. Oh my god, Henry. And that's it. <sighs> I'm so hmm. sorry. Yeah. So sorry you've gone through that. I, I don't know if you've thought of it this way, but her family is taking care of her, and you need to take care of you. Thanks. I'll let you keep hiking. That's what this is. That's what that's what I've been doing for the past 33 days. Why am I stuck on this hill? Okay. So I'm getting supplies, huh? Interesting. Getting supplies. Surely this will end well, right? Surely this will not end in catastrophe. Right? This is just a normal day, right? Normal day? Yeah, probably. Most likely, probably a normal day, right? I am not going the right way. I know where I am, though. No, I don't. Well, I thought I was going the right way, but I guess not. Right? Uh. So, okay. Let's see, where am I? Nowhere to be found. Seriously, where the fuck? Okay, there I am. Oh, okay, so I am. Uh, oh, oh, okay, so that is close. That is pretty damn close, actually. Uh. I'm heading straight towards it. Huh. Alright. I will head right there. Be there in a second. So yeah, in the last episode, we checked out some lines, and, uh... We also found out that these girls had left, but they left us a note, which, uh, is right here. <laughs> so, yeah, um... They left us a lovely note, but... And we found out that they left. And that's how episode 2 ended. Now here we are in episode 3. Turns out that those girls are now missing. <laughs> and probably very, very dead. Am I going the right way? Right? I'm going the right way. Right? Right? White? Yeah, white. Oh, shit. Wait, huh? Oh, am I going backwards? Holy shit, I think I'm... No way. Oh my god, I just totally went backwards. Okay, wow, holy shit. Okay, I'll see you up there in a little bit. It's that green thing. It's this right here, I, I guarantee it is. Yep, I was right, yep. Uh, supply, supply, supply. Yes. All right. All right. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Oh. <laughs> These are some weird cuts, man. <laughs> Day 64. I'm older. I'm wiser. My... My dog is snoring, so I don't I don't know if you can hear her or not. Hope not. <laughs> I really I really hope not. <sighs> <sighs> I'm hungry and I'm tired. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Oh yeah, shit. It's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but 
I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Um, how about uh, the big well, fire? <laughs> we just call it the big fire. We think it's going to be. The big fire. Yeah. Well, that is practical. Always my goal. I'm actually amazed we've never used that name. Sometimes the best names are the most obvious. The big fire it is. The big fire. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. Oh god. Oh god. Are you looking at the fire? Ah, shit. Ah. I love how they look at night. During the day it's just smoke. Ah, I, I thought about it. My boner goes sugar -gida -gida -gida. <laughs> Ah, that was a Ah man. That was uh getting pretty heavy. Uh the sexual tension is real. Day seventy six. So are we like a thing now or it's one fish and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish oh, wait. Game about a problem there they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, search you the know, lake site. I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like, how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Oh, come on. You just hmm. have to look for tracks. That's it. Ugh. Can't believe I'm going to leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank <laughs> you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should be easy. That shouldn't be much of a problem. We're getting, like, sucked into this game, man. Uh, so check for bear tracks. Uh. This is the lake that she wanted me to go to, right? Okay, so this is a thing. This is a thing that I clearly need. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. So it could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. Hmm. Alright. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? Don't you talk to others. Bear, did you? Other lookouts Someone as much has written as written down talk what to you, we said to way. each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Huh. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? I'm worried. 
I'll keep it. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. I'm, I'm panicking. Are you fucking kidding me? It was right here the whole time? Oh my god. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Henry? Are you there? What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Huh. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with the radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what? What you saw, Henry. Uh, maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Uh this just oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I I don't know, Henry. This sounds hmm. crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? My dogs are about to go crazy. Our relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. Oh, God. Yeah, sorry, I had to... What the hell do you think is going on at this place? I had to, I had to deal with my dogs, they were going <laughs> fucking nuts. You around taking notes, which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. Alright, I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow, I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There, there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Ugh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Safe. I'm trying to find it right now. Uh, I'm, I'm heading. I'm heading closer. I think, right? Or am I heading further away? Okay, no, I'm. I'm going closer. I think. Hey, I hope. I around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Should we call the cops or the forest service and and let them know this is going on? Don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what, Henry? Tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never going to let me come back out here. Do you understand that? Keep your radio close to you. Hmm. Hey, what well you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And it was a really interesting conversation. I think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Fuck. Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. I'm going the wrong Henry. way. It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Yet. Whatever you say, boss. Sounds like we're a little more than just 
Sounds like she's a little more than just your boss. Hello? Huh. That doesn't seem like something you would do after you just like... After someone just tried to kill you. Unless if you're just like that. Alright, so what about now? Eh. I'll take it, I guess. It's gonna be a long way there though. So. Started happening to them, he or his dad. Someone tells me something. he's not fine. I don't know. Ned, Ned was a weird guy. No, nobody is that weird. The moment you hear someone in the bushes or get punched from the shadows, you're getting your boss on the phone. Yeah. Brian is fine. I hope so. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Either that or he is very, very dead. <laughs> <laughs> Which, again, is a total possibility. I feel like I'm not going the right way at all. This map is so big, and it's so hard to go the right way. Especially when you don't know where the fuck you're going. Hey there, Delilah, there's a fence. Whoa, Delilah, there's a <laughs> big chain-link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions, acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do just keep in it, just keep in it. <laughs> Alright. And the gate is locked up, obviously. Obviously. I'll see if I can break in somehow. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. So where's that? Um... Ruby River, why is that so far away? Alright, so we should be getting close now. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see, the scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. Uh... What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Uh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Oh, I think I've... It's been a... It's been like two months since I've last played this. I got a new microphone and everything. That's how long it's been since the last time I played this. Alright, we gotta be getting close. It says on the map that we're like... Heading straight. Walking like straight towards it. Uh, yeah, it's like dead, it's like dead ahead, so let's go this way. So yeah, it's literally been like two months in between recording sessions for this episode. It's, it's so bad, but you know what? Like, I got, I got pulled away from the game to do something, and then like two months later, I was like, oh yeah, I should probably finish that episode I was trying to record two months ago. Okay, so we're, yeah, it's, like, it should be, like, it should be coming up here, like, relatively soon. 
Uh, penis. Yes. Okay. There we go. All right. Now we can maybe get to the bottom of this. Camp Arapaho. You there? Yep, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the fifties. I was never really into the idea of scouts. What do you do when you wrap up a hoe? It's a a wrap a hoe. Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Are you fucking serious? Man. That's fine. That's fine. You know what? That's fine. Even though we can't climb half of the high ground anyway. Actually. <sighs> Looks like I'm gonna have to eat my words this time. Oh yeah, there it is again. Alright. There we go. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Preteens? are we talking about with him like a uh, marching band oh no 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 like comics model rockets wizards and wyverns you know oh hey thanks to brian i can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons the what no you can't hey planar dragons armor class let's see okay no i believe you we're good we're good <laughs> uh, i guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos for the past 35 years, yeah. Hmm. So, I guess I just explore it now, right? Can I go inside them? I can. All right. Interesting. So this place, this little place, looks like it's been abandoned. Uh. I'm assuming just yeah. Yeah, these guys are gone. Yep. Not where they were sitting around. I fucking knew it. Up. Um, what are you? Wait, take hmm. it. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf Don't of Dr. Just slap it back Simmons down like a piece of cheese. Wapiti Station. <laughs> Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there. Let the mystery percolate. Oh, okay. My always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Uh... I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. Us. They're researching us. You... you think they're studying you and me? I Perhaps. Do. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? I'm gonna do a scan for supplies and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and hike towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Return to Wafty site? Wafty Meadow? Oh shit, wrong one. <laughs> so I'm assuming I need to look for a key. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. Wow, um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I'm holding it. Maybe drop it? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, man. So, he said look for supplies. I'm assuming 
What the fuck is happening? You can't get off that? Why? What? Uh oh. Uh oh. Am I stuck? Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. Um. So he said look for supplies. So I'm imagining that. Because there's a fence over there. Right? There's a fence over there that we cannot get across. So I'm assuming we would need like a key or something. Unless if I'm just like imagining that. I could be. But. I don't know. This is a brand new area. I've never been to this place before. What? What is this? Aha! Uh, I found an axe. Take it. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. Hell yeah! And getting through that fence. Yeah, I'm out of here. See, I fucking told you there was gonna be something that I could use to cut down that fence. All right, now things are starting to look up for me. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so tell me what here. you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? Uh, that did not sound like a woman coughing, dude. Oh, fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Hmm. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Oh shit. Okay, well. That's a cliffhanger for you. So I think that's going to do it for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, as always, I'll see you guys later.